today we are going to study from our gk planet book lesson number 3 prime ministers of india on page number 9 before starting with the chapter let's discuss the word meanings the first word is prime minister the head of an elected government next word is independent means free next one is freedom fighter a person who fights for the country next word is statesman a skilled experienced and respected leader and the last one is elected elected means selected india is my country and is known for its rich cultural heritage and natural resources the natural beauty of india is enchanting with rivers forests green valleys and steep mountains india got independence in 1947 after lots of struggle by our freedom fighters like bhagat singh mahatma gandhi rani lakshmi bai neta ji subhash chandra bose etc after the freedom india became a democratic nation in 1950 every citizen has the power to take part in the country's administration we elect our leaders who lead the country but there are no direct elections to the post of the prime minister the leader of the political party who secures an absolute majority in lok sabha is appointed as the prime minister of the country he acts as an adviser to the president and is the leader of the council of ministers therefore 
we can say that prime minister of india plays an important role now let's discuss about some of the great prime ministers of india first one is pandit jawahar lal nehru indian national congress leader pandit jawahar lal nehru became the first prime minister of india he was a freedom fighter and a great statesman he established parliamentary government and became popular for his policies in foreign affairs he served as the prime minister of india from its establishment in 1947 until his death in 1964 Children's Day is celebrated each year on November 14 in India as a tribute to Jawahar Lal Nehru fondly called Chacha Nehru for his love for children next one is rajiv gandhi rajiv gandhi was the sixth prime minister of india he took office after assassination of his mother prime minister indira gandhi to become the youngest indian prime minister at the age of 40 he was also assassinated by a suicide bomber in chennai on 21st may 1991 next one is indira gandhi indira gandhi was the first and to date the only female prime minister of india she was the daughter of pandit jawahar lal nehru she was the member of indian national congress party she was assassinated by her bodyguards 
on 31st October 1984. She was the second longest serving Indian Prime Minister after her father. Next one is P.V. Narsimha Rao. P.V. Narsimha Rao was an Indian lawyer and politician who served as the ninth Prime Minister of India. He led some important economic reforms and referred to as the father of Indian economic reforms. Next one is Lal Bahadur Shastri. Lal Bahadur Shastri was an Indian politician who served as the second Prime Minister of India. He promoted the White Revolution which is a national campaign to increase the production and supply of milk by creating the Amul Milk Cooperative. He also promoted the Green Revolution in India which led to an increase in production of food grains. Next one is Dr. Manmohan Singh. Manmohan Singh is an Indian economist and politician who served as the 13th Prime Minister of India from 2004 to 2014. The first Sikh in office, Singh was also the first Prime Minister since Jawaharlal Nehru to be re-elected after completing a full five-year term. In 1991, he made economic reforms that transform the country's economy and helped it to rise. Next one is Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Atal Bihari Vajpayee was an 
Indian politician who served three terms as the Prime Minister of India. First, for term of 13 days, then a period of 13 months followed by a full term from 1999 to 2004. He was the 10th Prime Minister of India. He was the first person to be elected as the Prime Minister from Bhartiya Janta Party. During his tenure as Prime Minister, India carried out the Pokhran to nuclear tests and convert India into a nuclear state. And the last one is Narendra Damodar Modi. Narendra Damodar Modi is the current Prime Minister of India. He is serving as the 14th Prime Minister of India and has been elected for the second term in the 2019 general elections. He is the first Prime Minister outside of the Indian National Congress to win two consecutive terms with a full majority and second to complete five years in office after Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He is the most prominent leader of Bharatiya Janta Party. He always had the at most zeal and enthusiasm to serve and help the people in need. Students, now we know about some of the great Prime Ministers of India. So, solve the exercise given in the book and revise it. Practice the worksheet given in the SNAP homework. Thank you.